Hey guys, what's up? Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Hope that you guys are doing well. The joy of the Lord is our strength and we should just keep on pressing even in spite of what we may face, what we may feel and just press towards the mark of the prize, the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good and we ought to just give Him thanks. Even when we don't feel like it, we should just give God thanks. We may not like what we are going through. We may not like the trials and the temptation. But at the end of the day, it's worth it. It's worth it. No matter what you face in this life, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. All the thing God wants you to do is just to keep pressing, keep believing, keep hoping. No matter what it is, keep having faith in Jesus Christ um, God gave me a word and he wants me to share it with you from the book of Matthew chapter 8 verses 23 well 23 to 26 but I want to stop at 27 really and it says when Jesus had entered into the ship, his disciples followed him. And behold, there arose a great tempest in the sea, insomuch that the ship was covered with the waves, but he was asleep. And I believe you guys are, um, you already know this story already. And it goes on to say, And his disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us, we perish. And he said unto them, Why, why are ye of why he fearful, O ye of little faith? Then he arose, rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. And there was a great calm. Verse 27 and last. But the men marveled, saying, What manner of man is this? That even the wind the winds and the sea obey him. Guys, we may not always understand why Jesus allows some storms to arose. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, let your name be glorified. Let your presence, let your peace be in this video. As the, as the viewers watch, your glory and this message will lift their hearts and their spirits in Jesus name Amen now guys if you read the previous um, verses in uh, chapter 8 there was a something that's of great importance one Jesus spoke to the centurion that his that because of his fame his servant was made whole the disciples of Jesus Christ saw what happened that Jesus spoke the word and it was so that the centurion servant was made whole immediately the same hour but after a while in the same chapter you know Jesus and his men went on the ship and behold take hold just take note and behold and behold there was a great storm. There was a great storm. The sea began to rage violently. Now I want you guys to look at look at it this way. Have you ever been delivered? God did something great for you. For example, with the centurion. He was his servant was healed and his disciples saw it his disciples witnessed a miracle the disciples witnessed the power of jesus the disciples witnessed that he is truly the son of god all of that excitement all of that amazement what is that that that, that holds the disciples hearts but after a while the bible said that they went on a ship and the and behold the sea started to rage and they became fearful they became fearful look at what I'm saying 
they left the state of being amazed, of being surprised, into a state of being fearful. Have you ever seen God do something for you? And all of a sudden, there came the fear. There came another situation. There came a storm. There came a situation that came out of nowhere. They only went on the ship and there arose the great tempest of the sea. Can you just imagine that, guys? Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. The King Jesus, the popular man, the famous man, showed off his mighty works. And after a while, his disciples forgot about what happened before. They forgot about what happened before. Therefore, because they forgot what happened before, they had to go and wake up Jesus and say, Lord, save us, we perish. And that is why Jesus asked the same question. But before we even go any further, that have you ever been in such a situation? That even when you just got delivered, there's something else that came up and you it's like you forgot about the victory that you had before. And you go to Jesus and say, Jesus, I am dying. Jesus, I am perishing. Jesus, save me. And Jesus is asking you the same question. Where is your faith? Have we not done it for you before? That's what Jesus was saying to the disciples. Did not you see me did a great miracle before? Did not you see me raise up the dead? Did you not see me um, preach great beatitudes and all of those things? The disciples witnessed the awesome power of God. But ever soon as the tempters came, they forgot about their previous victories. I charge you in the name of Jesus. That when you see your tempest arising, did not the Bible, I want to just, oh, there's so many scriptures the Lord just giving me right now. The Bible says in Isaiah, in the book of Isaiah, that when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of God shall rise with standard against him. Therefore, if Jesus is in your boat, you do not have to worry. I encourage you to grab a cushion and sleep with him because you don't have to worry if he is working things out. He is there waiting for you. You experience a great miracle. You experience deliverance. You experience a breakthrough. Then all of a sudden, there came a tempest. There came a tempest. The sea began to rage. Anxiety began to rise. Fear began to creep in. Depression started to weigh down. And you feel like to give up. And you say, Jesus, we perish. But he's asking you the same question today. And me the same question. Where is your faith? That therefore, Jesus, the good man, Jesus, the famous man, the man of renown, the man of renown, Jesus stood up and, and, and spoke to the sea and the winds and there was a great calm again. He had to show off his power to remind you that he is God. What happened after? Check this out. In verse 27, in verse 27, this is what happened. But the men marveled. They marveled and said, what manner of man is this? So therefore, all of the things that they experienced before came rushing back and they began to get a new revelation that he is not just the God who is able to heal the sick, but he's the God of nature. And they were surprised that so God gave them a new revelation of who he is. So therefore, God is not able or confined to just take care of your finances or your marriage. God wants to take care of you physically, spiritually, mentally, um, verbally, socially. God is God of everything and he wants to take care of you. I encourage you right now in Jesus' name, right here, right now. Where is your faith? Have you forgotten your victories that took place in the past? I encourage you. Grab a cushion and sleep with Jesus because he is in your boat. You don't have to worry. You don't have to fear. You don't have to wonder if he's going to deliver you. He did it before. He will do it again. There's a songwriter and he will do it again for you. He will do it again for you. Just take a look at where are you now and where you have been. He said, his son what goes on to say, just like Moses, just like Daniel, just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, he will do it again for you. Therefore, you don't have to fear. You don't have to worry. You don't have to wonder when this is going to be over. Jesus is in your boat. 
be encouraged in Jesus name the enemy come upon you in one direction but God will scatter them in seven be blessed and be encouraged with this word in Jesus name Amen